Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki condemned the attack on Christians in Iraq by the Islamic State extremist group. He said Christians have been exposed to violent acts that have never been witnessed before in Iraq. Sunni militants told them to convert to Islam, pay a tax, or face death. There are no Christians left in Mosul, Gary. They've all been driven out. They were stripped of all their possessions. They were left with nothing. Their houses, which were stamped Nazarene, meaning Christian, and then stamped again, saying a property of the Islamic State. Their cars, even their wedding rings, sometimes with their fingers attached if the rings wouldn't come off. An official with the Nineveh governor's office says only 25 Christian families remain in Mosul. Al-Maliki has pledged to protect the Christians, but so far as government has been helpless. The director of the Center for Religious Freedom at the Hudson Institute, Nina Shea, says the Christians are facing a heartless enemy. They hate Christians. The villages that they have not conquered on the Nineveh area surrounding Mosul, they have turned off their waters. It's 120 degrees in there today. They said to them, you don't deserve water. Not only are Islamists targeting believers, they're also destroying all traces of Christianity in the area. Video has surfaced showing Islamists destroying the tombs of biblical prophets Jonah and Seth. This is um, a very ancient uh, city that goes back to biblical times. I did see that video as well. Uh, they have also captured m ancient monasteries from the fourth century, and they are burning the ancient early Christian manuscripts. These are priceless um, for the, the really the, the heritage of Christianity. And then there's the refugee crisis. UN officials say around two million refugees and internally displaced people from Iraq and Syria reside in the northern Iraqi region of Kurdistan. Mark Martin, CBN News.